Hi Taurus, welcome to your March 2018 Life Path reading. It's Raina here, and this is going to be an oracle card reading. 100%, well, except for the Law of Attraction card that I'm going to pick to start things off. And um, I want you to pay attention to any kind of recurring themes in the three oracle cards that I pick and see if they speak to your life. Obviously, this is a general reading for every Taurus sun sign, or if you're watching for your moon or rising sign, I don't know, on planet Earth. So, um, <laughs> you know, I, I really shouldn't have to say it, but I do get people that say, no, this didn't resonate with me at all. And I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm utterly shocked. Um, every millions of people of one sign and it doesn't resonate with you. Okay, well, um, in any case, a private reading, especially if I'm using your natal chart, um, is much more tailored to your particular path. And I have a reading that is not, it doesn't involve tarot cards or oracle cards. It's just the astrological life path reading and uh, you can check out my website below for that type of reading if you're looking for something like that or another type of reading like needle chart readings and uh, my website is rainamoonastrology.com but this is going to be something that may just spark some ideas for you or resonate with you affirm something that you've already thought that's the purpose Okay, so let me shuffle the Law of Attraction card. Awareness. Oh, I like this one. I like those colors. I like that ball because it reminds me of those like crystal balls that people have in their gardens. When I focus on positive energy, I'm aware that I attract more of it. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking, okay, what exactly does that mean? Because it sounded a little bit convoluted at first to me. But yeah, I mean, in other words, what you focus upon increases. And it's easy to be aware of things that you don't like especially if you have prominent Virgo in your chart, uh, it can make you, I mean, I'm talking about myself here, it can make you very aware of things that are irritating you. But it's to me, this is a card that is similar to about gratitude, of like, what are the things that I can look at and say, wow, I really like that. And not, it has nothing to do with being a Pollyanna. It's just about enjoying life, every moment in life. Not saying, I will enjoy life when, but enjoying it right here and right now. Even if you're not exactly where you want to be. So, maybe you're not in the geographical location that you wished you were in. Maybe you're not in a job or a relationship that you are happy about anymore and all of that will change in time definitely never let go of your dreams if you want to end a relationship if you want to leave a certain location don't stop wanting to do that but while you're in that process enjoy things that are before you that are blessings right here and right now today Okay, this is a, a card from the Earth Magic deck. So for Taurus, you should like, being an Earth sign, you should like the Earth Magic deck. Waterfall, effortless. And without knowing what this card is going to say, even though I've picked it before, um, definitely when things are flowing, life feels the most organic. Okay, this card is going to be from the 
Oh, what is the name of that deck? Energy Oracle deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. Hmm. And it's funny because um, she does have reversed cards for this. So maybe this is actually a good card because the upright is anxiety. This I have a feeling um, that's like the Nine of Swords. Uh, she does seem to correspond with some of the actual tarot cards in certain ways. And then my last is my favorite deck, the Keepers of the Light. And I'm talking about my favorite Oracle deck, Keepers of the Light. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, I got this for another sign. I mean, I don't mind, but it's fun to get new cards. Commander Ashtar. So put Commander Ashtar down there. And um, I wish I could just flow into some kind of thing and not read from the booklet, but unfortunately, it's not really that bad. Hopefully you'll enjoy hearing what the, that, the booklets say, but um, that's all I can do because there's very specific information. It's not like the tarot where there's keywords or, I mean, there are keywords, but... You've come to the edge of your comfort zone. This is Waterfall. You've come to the edge of your comfort zone and find yourself fighting to resist moving past that perceived precipice of who you are, how you can be, or what you can do. Spirit is asking you to step beyond the edge and allow yourself to do so with ease rather than struggle. Yes, at times physical exertion is necessary, but when performed with flu fluidity and grace, even when the task seems daunting, you'll find that the movement moves you effortlessly. Approach the present situation or relationship with awareness and grace. Do not try to make it effortless. That just creates more strain. The key word here is to allow. This is not a time to fight, but to surrender to the will of spirit. Even if you're being asked to let go completely and tumble into the brink of creation itself, you will find the waters there to be ultimately still and calm. Keep your focus on your solar plexus and your breath, breathing through any tension, relaxing and yielding to the movement that is occurring at any given moment makes your life effortless. The solar plexus is the area of the third chakra. The third chakra is the power center. By the way, in case you don't know what a chakra is, it's an energy center. And it corresponds with physical points in the body. But it's like, um, you know, in acupuncture, they have meridians, which uh, there are so many of those. Uh, some of those are minor chakras, but these are the major seven chakras. And the third chakra is located in the solar plexus, or what we consider the stomach, abdominal area. And um, when, you, when you get butterflies in your stomach, this is usually when you feel like a sense of anxiety about um, someone where you feel like you're not adequate enough or you, you feel like disempowered and, and things like that. And this card is all about stepping into your power in a very um, effortless kind of flowing way rather than how some people do it where they're just kind of trying to force the universe's hand. You're a fixed sign, so a lot of times you may try to dictate the terms of how things go and you may not feel comfortable just um, taking action that uh, leads to change. You may want to just keep going as you are. And this card is suggesting that there may be new things on the horizon, from what I interpreted it to mean. And that you, but it's not about you doing anything dramatic, it's just about you kind of um, blending into 
whatever is happening and going going with the flow I think is the best way of putting it and still achieving things so um, let me go to the next card which is that card of anxiety and we're going to look at the reverse position oh cool finally relief this nightmare of a card reverse can mean one of two things either a recent problem is on its way out causing you to feel more relaxed or you have mastered an old habit of worry and have freed yourself from the anxiety within either way anxiety reverse is a good omen of more relaxed and peaceful times to come maintaining a trusting attitude and let maintain a trusting attitude and let the difficulties and fear thoughts fade into the distance and the affirmation for this card is i let go of fear and worry i assume the best and live in peace all is well so far i see a theme between these two cards of kind of going with the flow and you know chilling out <laughs> and then i get to this card and it says a call to action Take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. <laughs> so we have a card that is kind of um, more, less passive and more um, intentional. Well, let me see what it says. Ashtar, also known as Commander Ashtar, is a multi-dimensional being who promotes truth, peace, and harmony between the planets. He is said to be an extra, <laughs> extra, extra terrestrial, but appears in human form so that he can communicate at heart level with all those on earth who call on him. He is part of the Great White Brotherhood, a congregation of light beings who work to bring healing to the world and is a wonderful guide to those who are feeling the call to bring positivity, healing, and inspiration to those around them. He lifts up the hearts of leaders and inspires them to walk their path with complete integrity. You are receiving a call to action and being asked to step up and create the changes you want to see in the world. Divine inspiration is all around you, and Ashtar and his legion of cosmic angels are standing by to offer you loving support. Know that you are being encouraged to be honest, assertive, and true in a loving way. You may feel your ego trying to hold you back, but know that when you take that the first step, the next one will soon follow. Take some time to connect with the universe by looking up at the stars, knowing that there are loving beings of light gazing back down on you. You are not alone. So what kind of things really, um, you know, I think of this card, I think of causes, things that mean, that are meaningful to you that have to do with change. But it's funny, they say lead by example, walk your talk. And um, it's... Um, important I think that when people say they want peace that they are peaceful that they are respectful if they talk about love they are loving whatever it is that they're um, trying to promote that connects to love and peace and uh, you may remember what Mother Teresa once said I think it was back in the 60s the late 60s when a lot of people were marching in anti-war protests and she said, if you ever have a march that is in favor of something, that is like for something, let me know. And uh, it's interesting because um, that's kind of like what the Law of Attraction is all about, Taurus. It's about the universe is a yes-based universe. And so being anti-something means that uh, it goes back to that card, that awareness card that I first drew, 
where it says, when I focused on on po when I focus on positive energy, I am aware that I attract more of it. So, <laughs> a march that is pro something rather than anti something. And um, so I like that. I like the synchronicity of this reading. And I wish you all the best, Taurus. Take care. Bye.